Good morning, Knights, and welcome to the Westmount Highlights. It's the week of January 18th, 2021. If you're watching this on Monday, it's a day six in your timetable due to the PED day last Friday. New this week, all students will be receiving two surgical masks at the beginning of each day at the start of period one. Please keep your second mask in a safe place until around lunchtime or period three when it's time to change masks. Okay, here's what's really important. These masks are not reusable. Your used masks must go directly in the garbage once you've made the swap. With cases going up in the city, we have to be extra cautious throughout the school day. We can all make West Mass a safer place by working together and wearing our masks and practicing physical distancing. Switching gears, the first term report cards will be made available on the Mosaic portal for parents and students next Friday, January 29th. Parents, please make sure you have access to the Mosaic portal by logging in in advance of next Friday. I've posted a link with instructions in the description below. Parent-teacher interviews will be taking place on the afternoon and evening of Monday, February 1st. Just like in November, we'll be hosting the interviews on Google Meet. The booking page for the interviews will go live on January 29th, the same day report cards are made available. You'll receive more information by email in the coming days. Lastly, Mr. Wilder will be restarting the Dungeons and Dragons Club in February. The club will run virtually, of course. If you're interested, please contact Mr. Wilder by email. I'll put, it, I'll put his email right here. This week, Malachi is going to give us This Week in History. Bennett's going to drop in for a new review. But first, Quentin is showing us his talent as a programmer. Hi, I'm Quentin, and this is my talent. I like to program, so that's what I'm going to be showing off for my talent. All right, time to design the program. After about 15 minutes of designing, this is what I came up with. I know it isn't the flashiest of designs, but it works. So the first thing we have to add to our game is the square. Boom! Now we have our square. All we have to do is give it movement. Okay, with that out of the way, all we have to add is an enemy. I don't want to bore you with all the details, but I added three different enemies. One of them starts from one side and comes to the other. Another one chases you around wherever you move. And the other one has incredible range, but it gives you a warning before it attacks. And with those three enemies is the final result right here. It's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's cool final result. Didn't add any sound effects. Anyway, that was my talent. If you have any talents, post it in the comments down below. We're interested to see what you guys can do. Anyway, that's Quentin out. Hey everyone, it's me Bennett, and for this movie review, I am going to be reviewing the movie Tokyo Godfathers. Tokyo Godfathers is an anime film by Satoshi Kon about three homeless people, Jin, Hana, and Miyuki, who find an abandoned baby and they go on this big journey across Tokyo to find the baby's parents. This is a great film with great animation, great characters, and a lot of good humor to lighten up the story. So if you're interested in finding a good anime that is both sad and funny, or you're just interested in going to the works of Satoshi Kon, then I suggest his film, Tokyo Godfathers. Thank you, and enjoy the next segment. Welcome back to the Westmount Highlights. I'm Malachi Brady, and this is This Week in History. Today, we're going to be interviewing one of the greatest poets of all time, because this week in history, he was born. So, Edgar. 
first off, happy birthday, and, well, I've heard a lot of things about you, and don't get me wrong, they're all mostly great things. The one thing that I'm sure the audience is wondering about right now is, um, who exactly were you? Yes, um, my birthday is actually on Tuesday, tomorrow, actually, on, um, on January 19th. 1809. Uh, my name is Edgar Allan Poe, as I'm sure you all know by now. I published three works of poetry when I was a young adult. Then we moved to Philadelphia, where I would write dark horror stories, such as The Fall of the House of Usher, and the Telltale Heart. I, I know you've heard of that one. Yeah, I've heard. Then, in 1944, we moved to New York City. I wrote stories like The Raven. My grandmother was a... 1949, I died. Well, thank you, Mr. Poe, for your service. And I hope you liked this segment. Please remember to like and subscribe. I would say I hope you enjoyed the video. But we know you all just came for the music. That's it for this week. We'll be back with another episode next Monday. Until then, we'll keep the nightlights on. Be well.